Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is Graphing Simple uh, Rational Functions. This is an Algebra 2 lesson, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me show you that. Here is MrMathBlog.com right here. So if you go there, uh, across the top you'll see all the classes that I teach. You hear fire in the background popping. I have a fire in my fireplace. So uh, this is Algebra 2. So when you go down to Algebra 2 and then you scroll down, this is Lesson 8-2. So it's going to go right in between 8-1 and 8-3. So, so I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm adding this for a, a student who is absent, so she needed this and I didn't realize I had this, to, didn't have it till later. Anyway, so here's the board problem that we have. So state the domain and range of these two parabolas. They're parabolas because the x is being squared. This parabola is opening up because that's positive right there. This parabola is opening down because that's negative. Okay, so this parabola that opens up, it goes like this. It, there's a parabola. Think of a parabola right there. The vertex is right there. Okay, so since it opens up, the domain is left and right movement. It, the parabolas go left and right forever, but it doesn't go up and down forever. It goes down to the vertex, and the vertex is opposite same. So negative 4, 2 is the vertex, or negative 2, sorry, negative 4, negative 2. Here the vertex is positive 3, positive 5. Okay, so the, the, the domain on both of these, they go left and right, is all real numbers. And the range is, it goes down to, so it's everything greater than the y coordinate, that 2 right there, okay? When I click over, it gives me the answers to all these. So I'll show you that in just a second. Well, I'll just explain them right here, you guys, okay? So your domain is all real numbers. Your range is, it's all greater than that y coordinate of the vertex here. This one opens down, so it's everything below it. So it's below the y coordinate of the vertex is your range is y is less than or equal to, to 5, okay? Remember, opposite same as your vertex. All right, so explain how this graph of this parabola, this is a parabola, it has the, it's opening up because that's positive, this is opening up because that's positive, and since that's a 1x squared and that's a 1x squared, it's the same graph, except it's translated or it's shifted opposite same. So it's shifted to the left 2 and down 6, okay? So it's this graph just to the left 2, down 6. All right, so here we go, you guys. So we're going to start um, uh, this lesson graphing simple rational functions. So let's graph uh, y equals 1 over x. Okay, well, first we've got to note that you can't have 0 in a denominator. x can't be 0, so there's an asymptote or asymptote, however your teacher pronounces it, x equals 0 right there. So our graph won't go through that right there. So we'll choose other x values, okay? So when we plug in negative 3, so we get 1 over negative 3, which is negative 1 third, which is negative 0.33333. Uh, negative 2 is uh, going to get us negative 0.5. So it'll give us those points and it gets us that. And okay, that doesn't really help. Well, it sort of helps because I know what this graph's all about. Let's try uh, x equals negative 0.5. So here's negative 0.5 right here. Where's it going to be? Okay, when we plug in negative 0.5, which is negative 1 half, you guys, 1 over negative 1 half, invert and multiply, that negative 1 half flips over to a negative 2 over 1, so it's, um, uh, it's negative 2. Okay, so when we plug in negative a half, we get negative 2. When we plug in positive a half, or 0.5, we get positive 2. Okay, so this graph is going to go towards the asymptotes, so we have another asymptote right here, y equals 0. Okay, so this is going to be called the parent graph, you guys. It's a parent graph of a simple rational function right here. Okay, y equals or f of x equals 1 over x is going to be our parent graph of all the ones that look like this. And that's what this lesson's about right here. Okay, so let's graph the function y equals 6 over x. And we'll compare that with the graph of y equals 1 over x. Okay. So we have the two asymptotes, x equals 0 and y equals 0. So I drew dotted lines in right there, blue dotted lines. Okay, there's the graph of y equals 1 over x, because we did that before right there. All right, and so let's just plot some points. Notice these points right here, these go into 6 nicely. So I chose these points. Negative 3, when I put it right there for x, 6 over negative 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 goes into 6, uh, negative 3. This is going to be negative 6. This will be positive 6, positive 3, positive 2. So we get those points. 
And then when we graph those, we get uh, those uh, points right there. And let's go ahead and connect them right there. So there's the graph y equals 6 over x. And the second part says compare that with uh, the, 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 red, the blue guy. So we're going to compare the red guy, which is y equals 6 over x, with this blue guy right here. Well, it's farther away from the center right here from the origin. And they're both in the same quadrant, you guys. Quadrant 1 right here and quadrant 3 right here. Okay, and uh, what else did we say? Oh, they both have the same asymptotes also. The asymptotes um, uh, have the same domain and range. Your domain is all x values except x equals 0, and all y values is our range except y equals 0. So we just shorthand that and say x doesn't equal 0, y doesn't equal 0. Okay, all right. So when we do translations of these simple rational functions, remember, opposite same. So we translate it HK, whatever these numbers are. I have a numeric one here. So let's just pretend like it's positive right here. So this is, uh, we'll say H is somewhere positive. So we're going to have a vertical asymptote at H, whatever H is, and a horizontal asymptote at K, whatever K is, okay? So we draw the asymptotes and then we plot some points. Now, this is our new origin right here. It's either going to be in these two quadrants or it's going to be in these two quadrants. And so if it's in these two quadrants, our points that we plot, it'll give us an idea that it, it goes at asymptotically or asymptotically, however your teacher says it, towards the asymptote. So over here, if it's in this one here, it's going to shoot down like this. It looks like a sideways parabola right there. In fact, they are. And they're uh, symmetrical. Okay, so let's try one right here. Sorry, I went, I, I hit it a little bit too fast. Okay, now whatever the numbers are. So here's an example right here. Okay, remember opposite same. So the asymptote is at um, uh, negative two, same negative one. So we're gonna do the asymptotes x equals negative 2, y equals negative 1, okay? This is our new origin. So with that being our new origin, we don't need to worry about the shift numbers anymore. We can go ahead and graph y equals negative 4 over x, okay? So this is going to be our new origin. This is our new 0, 0. It's not really 0, 0. In fact, your textbook uses this and plots points with this right here. I think it's easier to pretend like this is the origin and then just deal with this little piece right here. My fireplace is popping again. Okay, so negative 4 over negative 4 is 1. Negative 4 over negative 2 is uh, 2. Negative 4 over negative 1 is 4. Okay, so when we graph those, we get when we calculate those, we get those. And there they are right there. Okay, so if we go to the left 4 up 1 from this new origin, to the left 4 up 1, there it is, to the left 2 up 2, okay, to the left 1 up 4, and those are the other ones on down there, okay, so there's the graph right there, and then there's our, don't forget to write the equation next to that that always labels that, alright, if you guys are in my class, I'm going to sign that, take care.